we must not hold internet governance hostage to the other challenges. I want to solve the intellectual property problem, but on, on a given day, if I can uh, advance the internet governance process, the core principle, I need to do that, even if I haven't quite solved my privacy concerns or my intellectual property concerns. So no holding the core of this machine hostage to my social obligations. They're really important, but the core is, is, is extremely important. Second of all, we need to avoid jumping the layers of the machine to solve our problems. I'm sure that I know lots, lots of public interest folks who would like to reach down into the plumbing, into the technical layer, and solve their maturation problem. But I guarantee you, the week after you do, do, do that, someone else is going to reach into the plumbing and give you heartburn. They're going to reach down there and say, I need to do this, and that will break the internet. So we need to solve our problems at the, layer, at the level at which they exist, rather than monkeying around with the technology. Third, we have to make multi-stakeholderism work. And here I will differ with the previous speakers. Yeah, it's worked OK. But we have not incorporated the vast array of stakeholders and their interests into the decision-making process to satisfy them and give it a sense of legitimacy. So the governance institutions have to work harder. And you've heard people mention the consensus around the OECD documents. Civil society was a little bit divided. You talk about herding cats elsewhere. Civil society is the worst herd of cats you ever saw. So there were differences of opinion about the document. And the final uh, signpost is we really do have to recognize where the worst dangers are. And I've started to say this, and actually I get more agreement than I had expected. Governments can really break the internet. Companies, not so much. Because companies have this problem of competition. They ha we have lots of levers against competition. Governance, governments, especially big ones who control access to lots of people, can really impose barriers that become permanent and, and, and troubling. So we have to know where the bad guys really are, the worst potential threats are, and respond to them. 